Welcome to Hi Hi Hello Hi News. I'm Keys. Happy July. We hope you're keeping cool in the heat. Let's get into the top stories from the month. To start, Freddy pulls off a major charity event. Streamer Freddy B Gaming committed to charity streaming for an entire week, with all proceeds donated to the trans awareness charity Transactual. The streams feature games such as Spyro, Minecraft, Splitgate, Portal and more. His community raised £215. Brilliant effort. If you'd like to donate, the link is still active until the end of July. Um, this week, from Monday until the Sunday, uh, we're going to be doing. We're going to be streaming every day, playing a variety of games. Uh, we're raising money for Transaction. It's a non-profit organisation based here in the UK, where uh, they are run by trans people for trans people, trying to raise awareness of lots of the misinformation spread over the media and in general around being trans. Uh, they also go out their way talking to politicians and policy makers as well as businesses to inform them and help make better decisions. Um, the pay the link for it I can check chuck and chat anytime as well as uh, if you're on Kick or Twitch, there is a donate uh, donate button in my panels. Um, you can give as, as much as you as you wish or as little as you need as you need. Uh, and it's got a link to their website as well. So if you have any questions, then you can follow that and get some more information. Hope that helps. Next up, a Twitch departure. A moist goat has announced their retirement from streaming this month, citing the reason as the content being too money-oriented. During a stream, they stated, without you changing into this new breed of streamer, it's very hard to kind of do anything else with it. So while it makes people still happy, uh, I, I don't think it fills the hole as much as it did. Uh, and also content creation at the minute, it's just a mess with the, with the likes of Kick and, and all the changes that Twitch have been making uh, and YouTube. I just don't think the streamers that are still around, and this is nothing on any streamers I know, everybody I've met and everyone that's still doing it are absolutely wonderful. But I just don't think the streamers that I personally see sort of leading the way are in it for anything but the money anymore. And that makes me quite sad to see, but... Uh, but yeah, I don't think people are people are in it for the the right reasons anymore. People aren't doing it for their for their viewers. They're doing it for money, and I, that came apparent to me when Kick came about. And all of a sudden, I saw all these people similar size to me jumping ship straight to Kick the, without you changing into this new this new breed of streamer. It's very hard to kind of do anything else with it. And, and if you're happy to keep doing that, then that's great. And I would be if I had more time, uh, but unfortunately, I don't. And finally. We're pleased to announce that on July 13th, Sean and Freya tied the knot. In a statement provided to the network, Freya explained that the date was chosen specifically to line up with their 10th anniversary as a couple, with their first dance song also tying into this date. Their ceremony was rather intimate with cosy and ethereal vibes. On behalf of all of us at Hi Hi Hello Hi News, congratulations. Well folks, that's all we have time for today on Hi Hi Hello Hi News. We hope you've learned something, and if not, there's always next time. Take care.